MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. <laughs> MustangMedic.com The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Well, we did it, guys. Another benchmark. 1,400 subscribers. Awesome news. Appreciate you guys. Let me take the radiator off. But it doesn't hurt the, the running of the radiator or anything like that, so... I'm going to live with it for about a week, looking uh, uh, spackled, and we're going to just get into fine-tuning. Obviously, I'm going to get a metal line and reroute that line around the pump. I don't think I'm just going to do a cross-tie on it. That's a little too cheesy, so I'm probably going to cut that line, put some metal uh, tubing in, and get, uh, work it around the, uh, the power steering pump. We're going to get fluids into her. I don't have a lot of hope that she's any good anymore. I'm going to get pricing and just replacing that water, that, oh, I keep saying water pump, that power steering pump. Um, we know uh, that we just need to raise the level again because we left a nice size puddle out in the street yesterday, cleaned it up. And that's where we stand. But it, all, it was all just one little hose that I forgot to cross tie and then took it over to uh, Wheels to Do. I live and learn, guys. Be careful what you spray on your polished pieces. And I know all you guys, Chrono get your own wheel, la, 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 la. My wife's like, paint it black. I'm like, paint it black? Paint it black? Uh, I got to relax. I got to relax. It's not all about the cosmetics. Right now, it's all about a running 429. <laughs> I'm very happy. And thank you for all your enthusiasm. This is like a major uh, moment for me, <laughs> getting this car running. And having an engine in her, and she sounds great. Oh, I also have to put in a, uh, I think a half inch lifter on the carburetor because I'm not getting full um, throttle with her. So I'm going to do that too. I'm going to get purchase a half inch lift for the carburetor if it's not high enough. So um, I have decided to commit to a Shelby hood, a 71, uh, uh, 71 Shelby custom hood that goes up higher in the back. I'm looking for one, so Mustang Medic Alert. Anybody that can get me some kind of smoking deal, I'd be very grateful. But we are going to get the hood that lifts up in the back with two scoops in the front. And uh, we're just going to go uh, a little Shelby on her. Need it. And I don't want to really get into heavy augmentation on this uh, mass air, on the, the mass airflow. I'm flipping cars. On the, on the loom for the Ram Air. Maybe uh, we'll put the Ram Air on the 72. Um, I think uh, Mr. Pizza Guy's interested in that. That's your update. She, here's that morning after getting her home. She's running. I'm not starting her, guys, because I'm not spraying any more fluid all over the place. i got to reroute that line. So uh, next video will be the rerouted line and testing out the fan. Uh, you got to test all the relays and everything when you put a new uh, radiator in. The radiator is cool and everything. We just got to check the, all the wiring and, and the relay and get that all worked out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. MustangMedic.com. On the subject of what's wrong with this picture, I just saw this thing and I was like, no! I thought you guys would agree, but I had to show it to you because it's just so darn shocking. Please look for the link Mustang in the description Medic. below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.